Colleen Huff here. Just wanted to do a fast little um, touch base with everybody. And today I wanted to talk just briefly on something that I'm seeing a lot of on Facebook again, and I just wanted to review with everybody. Um, I keep seeing notes of, can someone provide me with a narrative for fill in the blank? And I wanted to stress again to everybody, narratives are old school. We must be using our clinical notes. We have to. So we have to be using those clinical notes with our doctors or for the insurances. Our doctor's notes have got to be comprehensive. So I want you to take a look at your doctor's notes, look at your clinical notes, look at your hygienist notes, sit down with them and make sure that it's giving you a diagnosis as well as what was done. There have to be diagnoses in there as to why they did what they did for it to be a proper clinical note also. But insurance companies are not taking narratives anymore. Very few of them will even accept them. And so if you're getting a lot of denials on things, it's because either the notes aren't clear or you're sending an old style narrative along with it. And the consultants no longer want to see that. They don't want something generic. Well, they want to see what your doctor did for that particular patient. So your takeaway is to go back. I want you to give you a little bit of homework. I want you to sit down with your doctors, look over your clinical notes, make sure that they are in a very comprehensive way stating what was being done and why. Is it a cracked tooth? Was it recurrent decay? Um, things along those lines are the words and the verbiage that they're looking for. But you and I as insurance coordinators are not clinical. So this is where we need our doctors and our hygienists to help out. So look into it, make sure you're using it and sending a snapshot or a screenshot of those clinical notes. Make sure they understand that that's what's gonna be read when it goes to the insurance company. Stop using narratives, start using your clinical notes and make sure that your team is all on board with this. Make sure there's nothing going in there that shouldn't be read by anyone or cannot be got, put out if it was to, let's say, God forbid, go to a court case. You need to make sure that you are following that information and that it's thorough. So today's little tidbit is no more narratives. I don't want to hear about, can someone send me a good narrative? I don't want to read about it on Facebook anymore. I want you guys using your clinical notes and to make sure that everything is being done in the right way that your notes are thorough, that the doctor is giving all the clinical reasons for what they need to do. Colleen Huff, until next time.